Welcome back to the podcast. Today we have a very special guest. We have Karina, the voice of Reina. How are you doing today? Hello. Hello. I'm I'm really good. I'm uh, excited and a little nervous, but I'm happy to to talk to you. Today. Yes. Well, finally. Yes. It, which was uh, what people don't know is I'm actually going to fact check this a little bit because I've probably sent messages to every single Valorant voice actor at this point. Um, if I could find the first time I messaged you was <laughs> no, please. No, this isn't this isn't when anything you were to 15. <laughs> No, this isn't anything to you. I'm just saying that this has been a long time in the making to where the message you responded to me was from August and and you responded to me in February. So, I'm surprised that you even got back to me, but I I'm super excited that it even happened. So, yeah, that's better because you didn't expect it. Yeah, I looked at my phone one day and I was like I kind of recognize that name, and then I look at yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm the worst with um, social media, and I don't know why. I had lots of messages forgotten. Well, not forgotten. I haven't seen them. I don't know why. And then I realized uh, maybe five people they were looking for me. Maybe since. Well, I, well, maybe a year ago, and I I didn't see the messages. I'm sorry, but uh, here here I am. Yes, I I do want to ask because I've never asked this before. Um, but why did you say yes to me? Hmm. Why? Yeah. Well, you were the in this uh, blog of people that uh, hadn't uh, hadn't answered. Uh, you were the first one because I told them the rest. I said to the rest that we are going to to talk to, but I don't know why. Maybe because I wanted to practice my English. Ah, <laughs> ah. that's a good answer. I'll take it. it I'll take be, it. It could be. <laughs> um, so starting out, uh, I usually go with the simple question of the audition process. Uh -huh. Um, and I've heard a little bit about yours, but there's some stuff that, that maybe I can piece together here. Um, I, w how was that, uh, did it, was it through uh, like a secondary casting agent or anything like that? Uh, no, um, I was called by the studio where Valorant was recorded for the first time. And that's all they, they were looking for girls who who speaking who speak english and mm -hmm. and that's all and i am not sure why i was in that list because i had never said that i speak english and actually i feel i don't speak english <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't say oh yes i can i can record that because i speak english i i don't say that so they, they, somebody uh, thought about me or thought in me. What, which one is correct? Uh, sure. like thought about you for the, for the role. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You was. got it. Okay. And, um, um, that's all. Uh, we went to the casting and that's all. Do you remember anything that they told you about the character to kind of, to find that voice of Reina? They told me it was like a vampire. And actually, mm. the the name, it, for me, vampire was the name. Oh, and really? Actually, I think, uh, how do you say? Uh, recently, I recorded uh, uh, some, some uh, lines, and it says vampire. <laughs> And I, I thought uh, it was a, a vampire, actually. Ah. But um, they told me that. They showed me a picture of her, but uh, she was different. Mm. Uh, and I, actually, I was surprised the day that I, I went to record the character because I had bad, I have bad memory, but I was sure that the image wasn't the same. <laughs> the, maybe... 
when I when I uh, recorded the casting, she was blonde. Oh. Uh, or something. It it was completely different, and and it was a surprise for me when I realized it was different. I don't know if that was a little uh, because those projects are top secret from oh. um, the beginning. I am not sure, but. Um, they told me basically she was a vampire and she was in in her twenties, um, and that's uh, in that part I felt strange too because I am not in my twenties, but <laughs> but my voice range, my range voice, is um, is wide, and mm -hmm. that's why I I thought that's why they they. They thought about me mm -hmm. to 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 be part of the cast. Yeah, that's that's super interesting. I know that a lot of the the concept uh, art before people get casted is a lot different because um, we've seen. I know they just came out with the the new character Neon, and they released some of the concept for her and at the beginning and her image was completely different like she had she had different color hair and you know other little i mean like most of the body and like her face were the same but the the hair was different and i think i think it's kind of just an early development and then a kind of fine or like finished product type thing um but yeah that's super cool i didn't i didn't realize reina would be that different she she had a short hair i remember oh i'm not sure if she was blonde it has no sense well but, but well he, her hair was short <laughs> i'm sure about that <laughs> yeah that's awesome and was so was there a process of finding reina's voice because when you come when you get into this thing that uh you get uh like a casting for or you get this image of um sometimes you know you could know exactly what you're gonna do with that character but did you know at the start or did you have to find kind of tinker with your your play on reyna uh it was a definitely it was a process i because when we when do when we do localization is that correct localization uh it's not dubbing in, in oh. video games, it's called a localization. I okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I understand what you mean. But but we don't have uh, the image of the, the character moving and talking. You just have the, the the picture, and the rest is your imagination and mm -hmm. what what the creators tell you. So I was uh, a little worried about the language, first of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They, they told me don't worry because we need uh, we need we need an actress who has an accent a Mexican accent so don't worry and they helped they helped me to to create the the, the role um, I think uh, my dialogue director was incredible with me uh, he could explain me what he wanted. Uh, he explained me about the game, obviously. I am not gamer, and I felt blind with that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he was uh, helping me line by line. He explained me. In this line, your character is going to say to her partner, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And she's uh, angry because blah, blah, blah. And what I did was uh, trying different options for the same line. And then he started to tell me, oh, that's uh, the third take is the best, but I need you to play a little bit more with that intention. And then I had to, to do another take. And little by little, uh, we were finding the the character and the intention. Actually, I recorded uh, more lines maybe two weeks ago, and it's uh, the similar. the The process is similar because I have no idea <laughs> what we are doing. 
they are discussing about the character and they explain me what they want and I do what I think mm -hmm. could work. And then they tell me no or yes or yeah, but you have to do it faster. But you don't see anything. You don't see the character doing anything. And yeah. I always feel strange, but that's... Um, that's the way we create the, the character. And little by little, I, I understood the way she is. Um, and I, I said this in Carolina Strabasa's interview mm -hmm. that I, I thought uh, Reina is uh, like a Mexican actress that is famous here in Mexico, but uh, she was famous and she was alive uh, acting with uh, Pedro Infante or stars here in Mexico, but maybe from the, the well, from the last uh, century. <laughs> and uh, her attitude was similar to what I'm, I was doing with Reina. Mm -hmm. So I think she helped me. Well, not she that, oh, she's here. No, the way she speaks, <laughs> help help me to to solve the the character and it it worked so well i don't mm -hmm. know if i answered your question no you did <laughs> yeah no i it, it was that was wonderful i think well i i also love giving recognition because i don't feel like you, like people understand that like you put on a performance and in the game and it's not just reading lines at that point like you have to you have to give a performance and you did a fantastic job along with everyone else and the writers and the director everyone did a fantastic job so hats off to you guys because i i love the character as a whole i love her lines i love the the darkness and how she plays that out and you did a fantastic job so i, I just want to say uh a good job to you um but yeah, I, I think I think that the the way that the character was developed um is just is just fantastic and and everything from uh the design to to what she is in game is is really uh amazing. So I enjoy some some lines from her. Mm -hmm. I think ah, I should be like her because <laughs> sometimes I don't trust a lot in, in me mm -hmm. and and she's like oh I'm better than all of you mm -hmm. and I feel like ah that's so fun and I'd like to be a little bit like her <laughs> yeah just a little bit you could go way too far and be a little bit too <laughs> evil um I I do love uh there's this one when I did I did a podcast with Carolina and this is it was one of my most viral videos on the internet was I was talking about one of your lines um where Reina says look your enemy in the eye it helps with accuracy but in the game you you put an infliction or some kind of like a tone on the accuracy where it sounds a little different uh and it said you say like accuracy and I was, I was so confused for a long time on what the line was until I looked it up, obviously. But then Carolina did it, like, because she does, she does a pretty good Reina impression. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just one of my more, more popular videos is, is that line. Carolina is really fun and it's like an incredible actress too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I felt uh, her support in the interview, and af after that, maybe I no uh, six months ago, we had a a transmission in 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 Zoom, but it was for creators, and they invited me, and they were with me. If you don't understand something tell me because everything was in English and was in the United States well by Zoom but I was connected connect them to connected to them 
and and he was uh, by my side if you need something tell me and i can explain you if you don't understand uh, this uh, question or whatever so i i'd love to to know her some someday yeah. and in that interview it was interesting that we played a little to interchange our lines yeah and, and that was uh, really interesting because i i think she could do reina perfectly and mm. she says the same from me so <laughs> that would be an, an interesting exercise in the game yeah a lot of people think that carolina is the reina voice actor like a lot of people and i i've i probably responded to the first comment when they said it and they're like, oh, I didn't know that Reyna's voice actor was this other character that she plays. And then, so I probably responded to that one. But then they just started coming in and in and in. Like, all these comments. And I'm like, I can't respond to everyone. So everyone's just going to think that Carolina's, like, I don't know what else to do. Like, it <laughs> says on the thing, like, her character's name and stuff. So I, I don't know how that got mixed up at all. But it did. It's somewhere. That's why I am here now. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's why you're here. So we can clear this up. Uh, I would love to... Do you think you could say the look your enemy in the eye? It helps with accuracy. In what, uh, I, I don't remember the, the line, actually. Uh, it's... Uh, she, uh, look your enemy in the eye. It helps with accuracy. Look in the enemy. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to to remember or to. <laughs> I'm trying no, you're to good. say it, but I have no idea. You're good. <laughs> I don't remember you're good. that. Oh. And I tell tell me the the line again, please. Uh, look your enemy in the eye. It helps with accuracy. That's <laughs> that's a good impression, but let's hear it from the real one. <laughs> Look to the enemy in the eye? No, look your enemy in the eye. Look your enemy in the eye. And um, what? It helps with accuracy. No, sorry. you're good. You're good. You're it perfect. It helps with accuracy. Yeah. I suppose I did something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite uh, lines that I don't remember perfectly, but it says something like, uh, I, I am the, the last the last thing you're gonna see before you die yeah lucky or something yeah like that. yeah I was, ah yes i love her <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you that i played a little valorant oh i don't know how to do that uh, i i felt dizzy the first day and the second i felt a little strange and i i died immediately but uh, I'd like to to play a little. As I told you before, I am not a gamer at all. Mm -hmm. But but this game has uh, has um, opened some doors in another countries. Yeah, and and that's why I decided to try. So if you see me when you are playing, please help me because I don't understand anything. <laughs> I am dizzy. I am just running uh, for to wherever I can run and then I you could kill me and that's all so if you see me there help me please <laughs> yes that's me <laughs> um I do I do love Valorant for uh the characters of the representation representation of different countries um so I I want to get your thoughts on uh being a representation of you know your country and how, what does that mean to you and how cool is that to be you know representing she like mexico it was a surprise for me i never imagined it could happen um and maybe that's why i i felt almost the same before before no after after recording because it wasn't in my head before so and actually they wanted me to go to record to the united states but i have no green card or how do you say that yeah <laughs> uh, you, like a passport 
Aha. Yeah. How do you say visa? Is that the same? Visa? Um, I think a visa is to live. Like a green card is to just to go and come. Yeah, like a passport would be just to come over and visit. I'm pretty sure. But okay. yeah, you. It's. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much all the same. And and they decided to come to Mexico to to record uh, this character. Mm. And then I was so honored because. I think it could be easier uh, calling to another girl. And, and that's, they said, okay, we'll go to Mexico <laughs> to recur that character. And that, maybe that's why I didn't feel, obviously I felt special. I felt uh, the responsibility to do my best. Um, but I suppose I could uh, felt I could felt it much more if I had gone to the United States. Um, and now here at home, because of pandemic, I record here at home. So mm -hmm. maybe that's why I don't feel really special or something like that. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's the difference because we've been at home. Uh, but I think I I felt it stronger when I recorded my voice in Spanish because the reference was me again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, uh, I felt that uh, emotion that, uh, is that my voice? I did that? I have to imitate to my English intention? <laughs> Maybe in that situation is when I feel, ah, I'm the reference. I'm the the reference for some other parts of the world too. Yeah. <laughs> and I I hadn't uh, realized how important it this is this. Um I think when when my my partners here in Mexico are dubbing to the other references is difficult too. But 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 it, my position is different and it makes me feel special and grateful grateful is that yes okay? yep. um because the the team that we've made um it's it's really awesome sometimes uh, i don't know sometimes they talk to me direct directly they tell me you have to do this and this and this and after that my dialogue director here in mexico explained me again in spanish <laughs> And sometimes I don't I don't hear them, but they are talking to my dialogue director here in Mexico, and she explains me perfectly. Actually, yeah. she is a really really good director too. Jessica Angeles here in Mexico is a, a really talented girl, and sometimes I suffer a little because I don't understand what's happening in the scene because uh, you don't see. It to the yeah. character in the game mm -hmm. but finally when they decide this take is uh, what i like and uh, let's try another one and let's uh, change a little the the idea in order to find the correct intention and when they when i i hear they are satisfied with with uh, my job then I feel like, ah, oh, yes, we did it because we are a wonderful, wonderful team in Mexico and United States at the same time. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Where did, where did you grow up in Mexico? Mexico City. Okay. Yeah. And you, are you My still, life are you still in Mexico City? It. Yes. Oh, nice. Have you been here? I haven't been to, I've been to Mexico, but I haven't been to like Mexico City. Uh, I've been to Cabo, um, which is obviously like pretty touristy in a way, like where we were, but um, like we would go into, we go into the city and stuff. And so it's not just always on a resort or anything and uh, experience, you know, the, the culture and in, in certain ways and stuff like that so yeah i i really i really enjoy uh cabo 
but I would like to visit other places in Mexico as well. Yeah. Los Cabos is really beautiful place. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, I actually, when I was, I was down there, uh, back in 2018. So coming up on four years ago, I got a, I got a tattoo in like the back of a barber shop. And so I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I was like 15 too, but they, we did it anyway, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe you are so young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe it either. <laughs> uh, do you, do you, I assume, but like you, do you enjoy Mexico? You enjoy living there? Yes. Um, sometimes. I think it would be nice uh, traveling. It's in, I actually, I don't, maybe there are 32 states here in Mexico. And I think I just, uh, I've visited 15 or something, but I, I should, I should know more my, my country because uh, uh, there is a diversity here that should be, should be known. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to go to another countries um, where there is uh, <laughs> snow, where there Ooh. is snow. But maybe I'm going to cry if I go there because I suppose I'm going to be freezy. Have you never I'm seen... I'm going to freeze. Yes. Right. Yes. Have you never seen snow before? No. Oh, it's, it's snowing where I'm at right now. Or it snowed yesterday, actually. I can't, I can't imagine, but I should, I should know. Next time you, you could invite me to the interview in the United States. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's, that's what the goal is to do is like, you know, about like the conventions and stuff. Like I want there to be like a Valorant panel. And then I've done like 10 Valorant voice act like podcasts. So the uh -huh. goal is that if I'm there, then they people would recognize me at least like the Valorant voice actors. So then I would get to do some cool stuff. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, it sounds it sounds good. But the problem here with me <laughs> <laughs> is that I I feel strange with uh, a lot of people. Mm. And here, here in Mexico, I haven't gone to any convention. Never, yeah. Because I feel strange with a lot of people. And I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, I, but well. I get you. I, I feel the same. I don't, I don't like a big crowd or a lot of people or anything like that. But I still think it would be pretty cool. Like a, it'd be like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I feel like I'd have to get over it for, for something like that. Yeah, it could be, could be. I'm practicing my English. I think so. <laughs> no, it's, it's very good. It's very good. I don't, there's not a point, there hasn't been a point where I don't understand either like what you are trying to say or saying or anything like that. It's, it's, it's perfect. I mean, obviously if you, you could work on it, but like, I'm not saying that from like my point of view. I'm just saying that as a, you could always get better, you know, I'm not trying to make it sound bad, but <laughs> that's just what I would say. I, I am not, uh, I have no perfect English because of my character. It's not because mm. I haven't learned because <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep that accent. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, do you wanna do you wanna do a couple of voice lines? Uh huh. Okay. Um, I have them pulled up, and I, my dilemma or my my issue that I have is sometimes we'll get off the podcast and I'll be sitting here and then I'll think of one that I would want you to say and then I'm like, oh, that's that sucks because I just didn't get it. Um, uh, the enemy only looks composed, their hearts tell a different story. 
Uh, why my memory is so... <laughs> I can I can pick a different one if you want to do something shorter really quick. Please. Yes. Yes. Like peekaboo. <laughs> That's really short. <laughs> uh. People enjoy when I say "ay corazón." What's What's that mean? Is that? Uh, honey. Oh. oh honey. Something like that. Uh. Um. Would it work if I, if if you read it too? Yeah. Would that be better? I think so. Okay, I can I can like, you like have your phone or something if I sent it to your DMs or, uh, would you want me just to put it in the chat here? I think in in my phone it's okay. Okay. Um. As much as this world hurt me, it's mine, and I will kill to defend it. That was awesome. That was good. <laughs> I remember my dialogue director, um, he was David something, I don't remember his last name, but he was so precise with the, with the instructions, and he, he told me, uh, careful because when when you emphasize certain words, sometimes you you do it like in Spanish. And he helped he helped me a little to to pronounce it better with the emphasis where American people would emphasize. Okay, yeah, I get you. Uh, I sent another one. If you that's so that's one of those that you're talking about. That's what. Uh huh. I'm the last thing they'll see before they die. Lucky them. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That was awesome. Um, yeah, I, I, I love the, the, just the evilness in Reina. It's she, she's just <gasps> evil. Uh, Obviously, I hadn't realized the video game was the way it is. Uh, I was surprised that you you can hear the atmosphere in, in the headphones. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I, then I understood why they love the, the laugh, the evil laugh, because I suppose, because obviously I died before that when I tried to play. <laughs> but I suppose it sounds incredible in the headphones. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. I understood lots of things. <laughs> When uh, when did you realize Valorant was as big as it was? Was that like early on, like recording, or was it after? After. When I recorded that, I had no idea. They just told me uh, the kind of video, video game it was. And they told me, actually, they told me, this video game is not for good people. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> it's so true. Um... It's so true. <laughs> But I, I had no idea. And after recording that, um, I had lots of callings for, well, lots of interviews for The Last of Us. And then I, I, I see the kind of, I saw the kind of uh, works video gamers have done. <laughs> Because I said I I thought oh, this is like a movie. I think the last video game I had played in my life or I had seen in my life it was Tekken, <laughs> and that's all, <laughs> or Super Mario or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was impressed with The Last of Us, and after that came Valorant, and I hadn't seen the the video game, but I realized it was a. Uh, a huge job and with all the different nations are that are included in this project and that's when i realized and after that i saw the my lines in youtube um and then i had the idea of the how how the video game looks like 
Mm -hmm. uh, because in my head, when I record those lines, in my head, everything is really dark, like in a storm, mm -hmm. in a deep storm. Um, and in my mind, I can see almost anything because it, every, everything is gray. And that's all the, what I can imagine. And then when I saw the, the images in YouTube, I was surprised because there is sun and she's uh, pink her her dress is where he her clothes is pink and uh, i it was interesting for me because it's nothing similar it's not similar to what i thought when i recorded those lines mm -hmm. and and i think uh, when i when i realized the kind of job i had done with them is when when i understood it was really really important and I, I would love to, to try to play it a year or two years ago because I, I could have understood much better the, mm -hmm. the, the video game. And now I'm, I, want to, I want to learn a little. <laughs> I want to live for two minutes in that game uh, to, to understand better. Mm -hmm. Do you... But do you understand or like do you know about the i guess kind of how big ev like just pretty much everything in valorant is like valorant is a massive you know this massive game that has so many sub categories of different things like the fact that i'm able to i have, i just talk to the characters and like people love it like i i feel like a lot there's there's a couple voice actors who like really aren't emerged into like really into the culture or like super into the game uh itself but like is that something that you want to do more of or um like get into the community of the game like do you want to be more into that stuff I'd like to 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 do it but I know I won't do it um, until the last consequences. <laughs> I just want to try because I really don't like a lot uh, video games mm -hmm. because when I tried to do it before in my life with Tekken, for example, I felt so stressed. I, I think Tekken was when you were a baby, Tekken was famous or something like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I felt so stressed or with those races, uh, car races too, mm -hmm. I felt like, ah! And um, I, I think <laughs> I could feel the same a little. And I didn't, I didn't like uh, feeling dizzy trying to play. It was awful uh, because I did my best for one hour or something. And after that, I couldn't sleep for two hours or, or something because I was like, ah, oh, no, I don't feel good. This is terrible. But I suppose that's uh, just in the the first uh, times you try to do that. I hope so. Yeah. Um, but but I, I'd like to, to learn a little, but well, let's see. Let's see what happens. If I find somebody who is, for example, if you play, and then I tell you, ah, oh, you can find me like Karina Altamirano. And that's all in, in the game. We could play a little. And that's what I think it could help me to, to learn and to keep in touch with the players. Because I know you, you have uh, tournaments or something yeah. like that. And, and I suppose that would be incredible if i appear with you not because i am the star or something because i imagine could be nice for you and could be nice for me because you are going to help me <laughs> to learn and would be i could then i will finally hear the the sound the laugh or mm -hmm. all those things i'd like to to have that experience but if i die at in 30 seconds i won't I won't feel it. So <laughs> that's what, I, what I'm trying to do is to know the, the, the video game 
and if I if I keep in touch with some players and they realize that's me, it could be fun for me too. And mm -hmm. let's see what happens. Maybe maybe I in in the future I'll be in the tournament too. <laughs> uh there's i i will put an open invitation out on the on the table um i've done this with with two of the voice actors um who have not played the game where if if you would want to um i would we would join like a a zoom call and then i would share my screen and i would play and then that's it's a way to like I can show you things on the in the game on the map or with your character, for example, just different things and kind of like just go through things and teach you about different things and stuff. Um, yeah, that's that's just something that we do sometimes, and I'm I'm doing it like next Saturday with um, with uh, Miranda, who's the Sky voice actor. So yeah, it's just something that we do. And, but okay, yeah, it could be. I I well, the first I've I've tried to play it twice. The first one it was with um one one guy who who talked to me by Zoom too, and he told me, uh, "Here is your account in in order to play Valorant with your character, and that's all." And the the first day I, he was connected, he was online. Mm -hmm. And he tried to help me, but I was really lost. And he told me, well, okay, you run before up, before me? Yeah, follow me. <laughs> and then I was running. <laughs> uh, but I actually, I, it was difficult for me uh, following uh, the path. I, I hit with the wall and I was like, ah, no, wait for me. I was killed again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But it ha it happens. Everything happens so fast. I think if yeah. I I didn't play the tutorial, there's a tutorial or something. I yeah. Think. Uh -huh. But as they gave me the the account, I appear as Reina and I don't understand anything. And there's a map, and if you move the the map uh, moves, yeah. And I'm lost again. And ah, why that map? Uh, that map moves. Maybe it can be. Uh, Stopped? How do you say that? Uh, static. <laughs> like, I don't want the. Yeah, like you could you could change the map to not rotate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh, that, and then I I don't know anything. And yeah, he told me when I I told him how do I know if the the guys are running are from my team or to, to the other team, and he said. Ah, uh, because the others have something red, for example. And he was like, what? I, I can see that. Oh, I'm killed again. I didn't see. And actually, he he said to a girl to the other team, uh, he, he was in front of me and, and he told me, she is your enemy. And he was like, but why she's not doing anything to me? Because I told her that you are going to kill her okay and then i kill her and he told me and now that's the soul of the the other person that yeah. you absorb or, or something and then I, I told him i didn't see that i didn't see any soul what's going on no 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 i felt so 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 bad <laughs> <laughs> so it could be a good idea if if I, I if i see your your screen because everything yeah. is so fast yeah it's it's a lot to take in it's it's stressful and i understand that it, it can be stressful because you get like that you get one life like in that round or whatever and then you have like all your teammates and then there's a lot going on you know so i understand that it's not really a game that you just pick up really quickly so and actually i created another account to start from the beginning <laughs> and then i was alone uh where i had to practice something and i couldn't walk uh <laughs> i i heard some instructions at work to somewhere and i tried to to get to that place and i couldn't walk because there was uh 
like an invisible wall. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I can't, I can't walk. I don't know what to do. So I, I was so lost. If you, if you want to help me, that would be fun. Yeah, we can, we can set that up. Um, before, I'm not sure what we're at. Okay, before we get, uh, before we wrap up here, I want to get a couple more voice lines, if that's okay with you. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to send, uh, if that, if any of them are too long, just let me know. But, uh, I remember being so young. The first one is an okay, okay yet. What's up? It says O E, O I. Uh, is is that, that an okay? Is that oi? I'm here. <laughs> I actually, I can hear, I can play how you said it. Um. I wish. Let's see. If I can get there. Oh, jit! I remember. Oh, it's kind of like a, it's a, oi. You know, we'll we'll do a different one. We'll do a different one. <laughs> Uh, okay. okay. Here. What about that one? Sky. I, I don't remember that line. Sky, this is just the beginning of your power. Do you like that? Yeah. What about this one? Their viper is terrifying. I love it. <laughs> um, how about uh, if they act, if I act superior? It's because I am. If I act superior, it's because I am. I uh, should actually act superior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a snack. I want a meal. That was it. Ah, that was a snack. I want a meal. Uh. Um, we'll get a couple more in here. I, I just don't want to not have any good ones that I really like. Uh, this one I, I sent to you, maybe. There's also, if you, if you want this website, it has every single Reina quote, and then you can click the little, there's a little icon next to it. And then it'll play that voice line too. Mm. When the enemy only looks composed, their hearts tell a different story. I love that line. That one's a awesome line. <laughs> um, we'll get one one last one, and we'll make it a great uh, a good one. Um. Uh, okay. We'll get a, a jet voice line. Have you, have you talked to any of the other agents at all? No. Just Carolina? Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay. Last one. And then we'll wrap it up. Jet, you're very talented. Aim for the neck. Easy kill. Hmm. I love it. I love it. You you are incredibly talented and uh, so very sweet and so nice. I appreciate you uh, talking. Very opposite of Reyna. So. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's why I tell you I should be like her. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was awesome. I appreciate you coming on. I and I appreciate uh, you know doing this, even though I, I'm sure, like you said, you're a little nervous. I I appreciate you even come out and try and you did a fantastic job when it came to 
to your English and everything. So I wouldn't worry about that at all. That was great. <laughs> I could I could um, go to the United States and I won't get lost. I suppose I wouldn't get lost. Yes. Yeah. Once I I get lost in UK. <laughs> Um, but I, I, I knew too that people understood my problem. I told them I need to get to this university and I don't know where the bus is and blah, blah, blah. And they helped me and uh -oh. nothing happened. So, but in that, in that occasion, I arrived to Scotland mm. and the accent is like, what, <laughs> what did you say? Help me God. Oh, you, you had a hard time understanding them. Yes. Yeah. And and I tried to to get to the hotel or the subway or whatever, and I if I asked, they were like, rush, 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 rush. and then I had to tell them, okay, I'm going to repeat what I understood <laughs> <laughs> to be sure that I'm going to get to the hotel. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. But now I I, I think I'm uh, much uh, familiar with. American pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that was great. I appreciate you. Um, I'll leave uh, any social medias or whatever where they can find you. <laughs> and with the the warning that maybe I don't uh, answer. Uh, how do you say that? Soon, yes. Yes. Maybe I won't answer soon, but that happens because I'm the worst with social media and sometimes I lose messages. But that's okay. But Owen knows <laughs> that six six months later I could have the yes. surprise. <laughs> yes, just uh, Instagram. Arroba, how do you say arroba? at at yes. Karina Altamirano Locutora. Yes. yes. That's all. And that'll it'll be in the description. And yeah, I was I'll talk or uh, I will uh, let you know when this is up. And yeah, I'll I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yay! Thanks.